This video will show how to turn a length of rubber into a loop of desired size ready to be wound. Rubber supplied with kits has been stripped to a usable width. This is done on an automated machine or with a handheld device like the one shown here. Before doing anything with the rubber, the coating of talc powder must be removed. This is done by holding the rubber in your hands while washing them with plain soap and water. Once cleaned and dried, the rubber should be placed in a sealable sandwich bag to keep it clean. To make a rubber motor, cut the rubber at least 4 inches longer than the loop to be made. In this example, we will be making a 10 inch loop, so the rubber will be cut to 24 inches in length. This will give 20 inches for the 10 inch loop and 2 inches extra on each end for knots and tying. This method of tying a rubber motor does not require any glue. Hold the piece of rubber and pull it through your fingers to remove any twist. Wrap the rubber around your middle and index fingers and pull the rubber through. The single knot can be moved to lengthen or shorten the loop. As you can see, the knot will slide completely off the motor, so a single knot is not sufficient. To make the motor, tie the knot again, taking notice of which way the ends of the rubber are pointing. It does not matter which way they point as long as you remember the direction. If needed, move the knot to achieve the desired length. Once the knot is in the correct location, wet the knot with water or saliva and pull it tight to reduce its size. Hold the motor to tie a second knot with the ends pointed in the opposite direction from the way they were for the first knot. Tie the second knot between the ends and the first knot in the same manner. This keeps the length of the motor unchanged. Wet the second knot, slide it against the first knot, and pull it tight. Trim the excess rubber left at the ends from the double knot. Place the loop in a sealable bag like a sandwich bag. Mark the bag with the size of the motor. Add a little vinyl dressing such as Armorol to the bag. The Armorol will act as a preservative and lubricant. This step is optional. Many people believe it helps break in the rubber. Stretch the loop to four times its relaxed length. The 10 inch loop will be stretched to 40 inches. You can hold it in your hands or wrap it around rounded items. Here we use the round handle on clamps spaced 20 inches apart. Let it remain stretched for five minutes, then return it to the bag. <laughs> 